Hello, this is Doug with Air Purification Education, and today we're going to compare four of the best air purifiers on the market that I have a substantial amount of experience with. I have about 16 years of air quality consulting experience, and I'm pretty familiar with the four units on this list, and I've sold over a million dollars worth of these four units as well, and I've talked with many customers through the years and have received many hours of real-world feedback on these units too, and I've also personally owned and used three of these units for many years as well. This is the first video in a new series, which will be my official best air purifier list. And we will be adding a new air purifier to this list about every month. And we will be ranking the units in comparison to each other for different variables. And since there are a ton of different units and brands on the market and new air purifiers are entering the market every month, it would seem like this list will probably just keep growing and growing to possibly infinity as time goes on. And we have a seemingly endless number of air purifiers to evaluate. So this first video will be the foundational starting point for the new series. You can find links for the individual review videos for each unit in this video in the description below. As I have a separate, more comprehensive video review of each of the units in this video. I currently own another seven popular air purifiers from well-known brands in my possession right now. And these seven units will be added to this list over the next several weeks and months after we review them one by one in separate videos. So today we will compare the IQ Air Health Pro Plus, the Aris 3-in-1, AKA the Clara P7 Pro, the Austin Air HealthMate, and the Koei Air Mega 400S. So how do these four air purifiers stack up and compare to each other? Well, let's take a look. History, how long on the market? The Austin Air HealthMates have been on the market for over 30 years. The IQ Air Health Pro Plus units have been on the market for over 20 years. I think the Koei Air Mega units have been on the market for about 10 years. And the Aris 3-in-1 has been on the market for about eight years. And of note, the Aris 3-in-1 is currently only available in Japan, but it will return to the North American market in 2024, and it will be called the Clara P7 Pro, and it will be connected to the iRobot vacuum systems as well. Since iRobot owns Aris now, and they possess over 40% of the global robot vacuum market, I would expect the Clara P7s to eventually be available internationally as well. Casters, wheels... They all have casters and wheels with the exception of the Koei Air Mega. You can pick the Air Megas up with these little indentations on either side of the units. Country of origin, IQ Air and Aris are made in Switzerland, but the new Clara units, which will replace the three-in-one units, will probably be manufactured in China. The Austin Air HealthMate is manufactured in Buffalo, New York of the United States, and the Koei Air Megas are manufactured in South Korea. Size of units. The IQ Air Health Pro Plus is the largest unit standing at 28 inches tall and totaling 6,720 cubic inches. The Aris 3-in-1 slash Clara is 23.6 inches tall and totals 5,200 cubic inches. The Austin Air HealthMate is 23 inches tall and totals 4,836 cubic inches. And the Koei 400S is 22.7 inches tall and it is 4,972 total cubic inches. So it is the shortest of the four units and it takes up the second least amount of space as the Austin Air HealthMate takes up the least amount of space of all the units. Weight. The Austin Air HealthMate is 47 pounds. The Aris 3-in-1 slash Clara is 35 pounds, and so is the IQ Air Health Pro Plus. And the Koei 400S is the lightest at 24.7 pounds. Noise levels. On low speed, the Austin Air HealthMate is 44.6 decibels. The IQ Air Health Pro Plus is about 41.8 decibels. The Aris 3-in-1 is about 35 decibels. And the Koei 400S is about 22 decibels. On high speed, the IQ Air Health Pro Plus is about 69 decibels. The Austin Air HealthMate is about 65.1 decibels. The Aris 3-in-1 slash Clara is about 65 decibels. And the Koei 400S is about 52 decibels. What are they made of? All the units are made of different types of plastics, with the exception of the Austin Air HealthMate, as it is made of steel. Air quality sensors. The Aris and Koei 400S do have air quality sensors. The Health Pro Plus and the Austin Air HealthMate do not have air quality sensors. But if you've seen some of my other videos, then you already know I do not currently value air quality sensors on air purifiers 
for various reasons, mostly because they tend to be inaccurate. So I do not see this as an important feature. Smart ear purifiers. Which units have an app so we can control the ear purifiers with our smartphones? Aris and Coway are smart ear purifiers and have apps. The IQ Wear Health Pro Plus and the Austin Ear HealthMate are not smart air purifiers, and they do not have apps. Again, if you've seen some of my other videos, then you know I generally do not currently value the smart air purifier apps. Oftentimes, the apps have issues, and the air quality sensors tend not to be very accurate on the units themselves. No single sensor currently exists that can accurately tell us the true air quality in our environments from a total perspective. For example, our air purifier's air quality sensor may tell us that our air quality is good, when in reality, we may have a lot of dangerous mold in our air, or formaldehyde, or there are over 10,000 VOCs that could be in our air. I mean, do we really think an inexpensive sensor on an air purifier can detect all the potentially harmful particles and VOCs in the air we breathe? Of course not. And they certainly can't detect the most plentiful and most dangerous ultrafine particles either. So we are really buying an air purifier to improve our air quality, not get pretty graphs on our phones with misleading inaccurate data about our indoor air quality. I barely ever pay any attention to the air quality data the sensors on my air purifiers display. I generally tell people not to be dazzled by all the bells and whistles some companies try to entice us with as if they're adding some great value to the air purifiers. So many air purifier companies these days now have these really slick marketing videos with beautiful graphics and really nice music, but none of it really matters as the main most important thing that matters is how well the air purifiers will actually filter in our environments. That's it. Which units will improve our overall health the most? The apps are just window dressings in my opinion. Someday if the air quality sensors become much more sophisticated and accurate, I may change my mind on this issue. But these are my feelings as of today. CFMs and room size accommodations. The Aris slash Clara has the most CFMs at 390. The Coway 400S has 330 CFMs. The Health Pro Plus maxes out at 300 CFMs. And the Austin Air HealthMate comes in last at 250 CFMs. So the strongest unit is the 3-in-1 on high speed. In rooms up to about 730 square feet with 8-foot ceilings, you would get about 4 air exchanges per hour. So it is a very powerful unit. The Austin Air HealthMate would get about 3 air exchanges in 500 square feet with 8-foot ceilings. CADR ratings. If you've seen some of my other videos, then you already know the CADR ratings are not an accurate way to tell how good air purifiers actually perform, so we will leave these out of the discussion. Monthly cost of electricity. So the average cost of electricity in the United States is currently about 16 cents per kilowatt hour. So we'll compare each unit for monthly energy costs based on if we ran them on about 200 CFMs 24 seven all day long. So the IQ or Health Pro Plus on speed five is 200 CFMs and it would cost about $17 and 76 cents a month on average if we ran it 24 seven. The Austin Air Health Mate has a max of 250 CFMs. So it is about $16 and 94 cents a month on high or it would be $13 and 55 cents a month for an imaginary 200 CFMs if it had that option. The Aris 3-in-1 slash Clara would cost $10.60 per month on speed 3, which would equal 200 CFMs. And the Coway 400S would cost about $7.37 a month on speed 2, which is about 226 CFMs for the entire month. So the Coway is the least expensive unit to run when it comes to energy consumption. Annual cost of filter replacements. The Aris 3-in-1 slash Clara would be about $199 per year in filter replacements. The IQ Air Health Pro Plus would be about $137 per year. The Coway 400S would be about $129 per year. And the Austin Air HealthMate would cost about $58 per year in average annual filter replacements if you replace their filter every five years, which is supposed to be the norm for that unit. TCOO, total cost of ownership. So the total cost of ownership would be the average annual power consumption cost for each unit plus the annual average cost of filter replacements. So when we combine the two costs, the IQ Air Health Pro Plus is the most expensive at about $350 a year. The Aris 3-in-1 slash Clara is the second most expensive at $326 per year. 
the Austin Air Healthmate would be the second least expensive at about $261 per year. And the Coway 400S would be the least expensive option at about $217 per year. Cost of the units themselves. Now we'll cover the general cost of the units. The IQ or Health Pro Plus is currently $899, and it has been this same price for at least 16 years. The Ares 3-in-1 was typically about $750, and I've been told the Clara should be about the same price, but we don't really know what they will price it at until we actually see it in the United States again. The Austin Air Health Mate is around $715 these days, and the Koei 400S has recently been about $500 to $550, depending on where you see it. Amazon had it on sale for $497 the week before Christmas. Longevity. So which units will last the longest? I don't have any black and white data to support my opinions on this. So this is just going to 100% be my opinions based on my personal experience and also feedback from many different customers. I have two Austin Air Healthmates and they've lasted over 16 years for me, running on high speed, 24-7, so I do believe they will last the longest of the four units on average. I have a Health Pro Plus, but my first Health Pro Plus lasted for about 10 years before it broke, and I was only running it about 40 hours per week. So I tend to think these two units will last the longest in general, and I'd put the Coway at number three and the Aris slash Clara unit at number four, as it is the newest unit and it has been modified somewhat and it is now probably gonna be manufactured in China, which is a new manufacturing location for the solution. So I think it will have the highest probability of lasting the least amount of time, at least until they manufacture it from the same location for one or two years, right? I'm just guessing on this, but I've seen many manufacturers change some things on their units and even change manufacturing locations. And in general, it typically makes the units less reliable. That said, I know iRobot has been manufacturing robotic vacuums in China for over 20 years, so that does give me more confidence in them than some of the other manufacturers I've seen do this. But we'll just have to wait and see. If I had to put money on it, this is currently what my longevity ranking list would look like. Warranties. So the Aris 3-in-1 has a two-year warranty, the Koei 400S and Austin Air Healthmate both have a five-year warranty, and the IQ Air Health Pro Plus has a 10-year warranty, which they increased from five years in 2016. And this shows a lot of confidence in their solution, in my opinion. That said, if you have an Austin Air Healthmate that breaks outside of the five-year warranty window, the manufacturer will fix it for $90 plus shipping, no matter what the problem is. And I think that is a really good policy. You know, they're not just going to leave you stranded after the five-year warranty is over. Aesthetics. Let's rank the units by their looks. I think the Health Pro Plus comes in fourth. The Austin Air Health Mate comes in third. I've had a good number of people mention to me through the years that they don't like the way those two units look. The Coway 400S comes in second, and the Aris slash Clara comes in first when it comes to appearance. I personally do not care what my air purifiers look like. I just want the best ones for my health. But I do know many customers do care about the unit's overall looks. So that's how I would rank their looks, but you may feel differently. Let's now get into the all important performance levels of the air purifiers. Filtration of particles. Which of the units filter particles like dust, allergens, pet dander, etc., the best? So for general particle filtration, the Koei 400S comes in fourth, the Austin Air Healthmate comes in third, the IQ Air Health Pro Plus comes in at number two, and the Aris 3-in-1 comes in at number one. When it comes to third-party certifications, both the IQ Air Health Pro Plus and the Aris 3-in-1 are EN 1822 certified. And we're not gonna really get into details on this, but we'll just say EN 1822 is currently perhaps the most respected air purification certification available on the market today. The Coway 400S is third-party certified by the KCL, which is the Korea Conformity Laboratories, but its real-world filtration performance is not consistent with the third-party testing results, as shown in my review video of the unit. And the Austin Air Healthmate is not third-party tested nor certified, but they do have several clinical trials with reputable organizations like the American Academy of Pediatrics and Johns Hopkins. That said, one of the reasons I put the Austin Air Healthmate over the Coway 400 on this list 
is because I think the actual HEPA filter is sealed much better inside the Austin Air units than how the Max 2 filters are sealed inside the Cowboy 400 units. And again, that HEPA filter seal problem was pretty obvious in the video review I did of the 400S. I will eventually do a video on the different types of seals inside different air purifiers between the HEPA filters themselves and the interior of the units. It doesn't matter how great the HEPA filter is if it's not sealed well inside the unit. And the vast majority of air purification solutions on the market have very poor sealed HEPA filters inside their units. I'd go so far as to say, poorly sealed HEPA filters are the norm for the standalone air purification industry. So yeah, I think it's actually that bad. Now these are the rankings for general particle filtration. We're now going to choose which of these air purifiers filter the best for the most important issue of ultra-fine particle filtration. We will get to that in a minute, but first, let's quickly discuss six important points and variables for us to consider leading up to that super important topic. Number one, HEPA filtration is the filtration of 99.97% of particles at 0.3 microns. This is considered true HEPA filtration. If you already saw my Koei 400S review video, then you already know the 400S visibly leaks dirty air, so it does not perform at a HEPA level in the real world, and it certainly does not perform as well as the Health Pro Plus or the 3-in-1. Number two. I currently think over 98% of the HEPA air purifiers on the market do not actually perform at a HEPA level in the real world for consumers. The industry is not regulated closely and almost any air purifier company can typically claim whatever they wish in their marketing campaigns without anybody really forcing them to verify their claims. Just like I showed in my Air Mega 400 review video, Koei markets their 400S units to be able to filter 99 0.999% down to 0.1 microns. However, we clearly saw in that video that the 400S does not even filter at a HEPA level in the real world. Number three, an air purifier does not have to actually filter at a HEPA level to improve the quality of air in our environment. And most air purifiers will improve the quality of air in the spaces they are put in to varying degrees, even though 98% of them do not actually filter at a HEPA level. There are many customers out there that experience improvements in their breathing from asthma and allergies, etc., and they own air purifiers that don't actually filter at a HEPA level. So the 400S doesn't actually filter at a HEPA level in the real world, yet it dramatically improves the air quality in the vast majority of customers' environments, and Koei Air Mega customers tend to really like their units. So the 400S is a good unit, it just depends on what level of filtration you're looking to obtain or what level of filtration you are willing to settle for. Number four, humans can only see particles that are 10 microns or larger in size. So we cannot actually see with our naked eyes if an air purifier is actually filtering 99.97% at 0.3 microns. If we see a piece of dust floating in the air, we can assume it is 10 microns or larger in diameter, and we can also assume there are nine more smaller dust particles in the air that we cannot see as 99% of all the particles in the air we breathe are too small for us to see. We can only see the larger particles, which represent only 1% of the particles in the air. Number five. Ultrafine particles. The most dangerous particles to humans are called ultrafine particles, and they are 0.1 to 0 0.003 microns in size, and they comprise over 90% of the particles in the air we breathe. So yes, they are much smaller size than what we can see with our eyes. And these ultrafine particles are so small that they can get directly into our bloodstream and access all the organs of our bodies, including our brains. And studies have linked ultrafine particles to cancer, Alzheimer's, autism, cardiovascular disease, erectile dysfunction, and many, many other ailments as well. More research is being conducted all over the world, and we are only at the beginning stages of understanding the profound impact that ultrafine particles have on our overall health. Number six, I currently have five air quality monitor testers, and some may ask, why don't I use an air quality monitor to test the four units? So here are a few reasons why. A, I don't trust them to be accurate. Their readings can be affected by temperature, relative humidity levels, airflow, 
and even the outdoor AQI, which is air quality index. B, if you saw in one of my previous videos, two fairly popular sensors in the same room disagreed with each other 86% of the time on the air quality readings over about a nine hour period. C, the EPA's testing monitors, which provide our AQI, air quality index, cost $20,000 and up, and they are constantly being maintained by trained staff on a regular basis. D, the EPA says monitors, $5,000 and less, tend to be inaccurate and even more so over time. E, even if the monitor is very expensive, it won't be able to accurately test for ultrafine particles. And as already stated, ultrafine particles compose 90% of the particles in the air that we breathe and are the most dangerous to our health. F, I currently think the testing of air purifiers really needs to be left to the professional labs which have modern, expensive equipment, controlled environments, and trained staff. Only then would I possibly trust the testing results. And even then, I think some air purification companies are somewhat manipulating their third-party test lab results as well and finding ways to advertise and market their units, which make it seem like they perform even better than they actually do in the real world. And there are many other reasons as well why I currently won't test the air purifiers with monitors, but we'll stop here. So with those six points in mind, when we look at this list of four air purifiers and we ask ourselves the question, which of these units are the most effective for filtering ultrafine particles? And my answer would be, I would currently only recommend the Aris 3-in-1 slash Clara and the IQWare Health Pro Plus for ultrafine particle filtration. I currently have an Aris 3-in-1 running in my bedroom and I have an IQR Health Pro Plus running in my family room. And I've replaced some other units with these particular air purifiers because of the ultrafine particle issue. The IQR Health Pro Plus filters 99.5% of particles down to 0.003 microns. It is elite for particle filtration, and it was the first residential air purifier to be EN 1822 certified. The Aris 3-in-1, according to this graph, has an MPPS, which is the most penetrating particle size of about 0.15 microns, which means particles that are sized about 0.15 microns are the hardest for the 3-in-1 to filter. That is what MPPS means. Again, HEPA, is 99.97% particle filtration at 0.3 microns. And on the Aris 3-in-1 particle filtration performance chart, we can see it actually hits between 99.9937% to 99.9948% filtration at 0.3 microns, as the 0.3 microns would be somewhere between those two values on this chart. So the Aris 3-in-1 filters better than HEPA at 0.3 microns, as we can see. Actually, a lot better than HEPA. And as we can also see, it actually filters better and better as the particles get smaller, and from 0.1 microns to 0.01 microns, it filters even more efficiently, as we can see the graph starts to climb towards 100% efficiency, all the while filtering better than 99.97 for any of the particles. So, this is absolutely elite particle filtration, and this is one of the reasons why I rank the 3-in-1 at the number one spot and the best for ultrafine particles. You don't get this type of performance by simply throwing a HEPA filter into a box with a pre-filter and a fan and telling the world you have a HEPA air purifier, which is what many or even most air purification manufacturers do, in my opinion. This performance graph right here is the result of extremely high level engineering. Not just a bunch of good engineers trying to make a good air purifier, but rather brilliant engineers are the type of engineers who would have to be involved to create a solution that hits these type of filtration numbers for a mass produced standalone air purifier that can run that many CFMs through it, in my opinion. The air is three in one is the result of very high level engineering. Both co-founders, Konstantin Overlack and Pierre B attended ETH Zurich in Switzerland, and it is considered one of the world's leading universities in science and technology. ETH Zurich is currently rated the number seven best university in the entire world by QS top universities, and it is the highest ranking university outside of the United States and the UK, and it attracts 
super talented, brilliant students from all over the world. Albert Einstein, yes, that Einstein, actually studied at this university for four years. Constantine received his master's degree in mechanical engineering from ETH Zurich, while Pierre B. received his bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering from ETH Zurich. And then Pierre got his master's degree in engineering from MIT. And MIT is the number one ranked university by QS top universities in the entire world. So these are the founders of Eris, and they both possess brilliant engineering minds. And brilliant engineers create brilliantly engineered, high-level, world-class solutions. And iRobot obviously would agree with this as they paid over $70 million to acquire the Eris company. So iRobot ain't going to spend over $70 million on a five-year-old company with only 35 employees unless they knew for sure that Eris provided super elite filtration. I mean, that just makes sense, right? So yes, I currently put the three-in-one at the number one spot for ultrafine particle filtration, the newer version of the three-in-one, the Clara P7 Pro, that will hit North America in 2024, will have an H14 HEPA filter in it. So it will actually be upgraded from the H13 filter that the three-in-one has typically housed in the past. Okay, let's go over some environments and applications. Smoking. Which of these units would I recommend for a smoker in a room? None. I choose other air purifiers for someone smoking in a room. Secondhand smoke. Which units would I recommend for secondhand smoke coming through my vents from a neighbor or if I was down the hall from a smoker? I'd go with the 3-in-1 and the Health Pro Plus. Then maybe the Kowei 400, but that one could be hit or miss. You may or may not be happy with this performance for secondhand smoke. And I've had a few Austin Air health mates returned for the secondhand smoke issue, so I'm not very confident in it for secondhand smoke. And Austin Air officially recommends their Austin Air Healthmate Plus unit for cigarette smoke gases and odors, as that unit has more than just activated carbon, and its odor and VOC solution is therefore more similar to the carbon solutions in the Health Pro Plus and the 3-in-1. Which units would I recommend for wildfire smoke? Definitely the Airs 3-in-1, then the IQ or Health Pro Plus. Both are great for wildfire smoke. Two of the best on the market, in my opinion. The Austin Air Healthmate and Coway 400 units could possibly do a decent job for this, depending on how much wildfire smoke is getting in your space and how sensitive you are to it. That said, Austin Air officially recommends Healthmate Plus unit for wildfire smoke, again, due to the better carbon solution. How about mold? Well, if we have a significant amount of mold in our environment, then it needs to be cleaned up by a mold remediation company, and that will tend to be expensive. Also, a correctly sized dehumidifier that can keep our relative humidity below 60% on a regular basis will help prevent obtaining mold in our basement or crawl space in the first place. So an air purifier doesn't prevent mold growth in our environment. Typically, that is what a dehumidifier will do for us. That said, if you're renting and you have a mold problem in your environment, I generally would tell people to move out as soon as possible because the landlords tend to not hire a good mold remediation company to do the cleanup and it will put your health at risk. In my experience in speaking with many different tenants from all over the US, landlords will tend to downplay any mold issues or they will have an unqualified individual, quote unquote, take care of it by throwing some Clorox on it or whatever other inexpensive means they can think of. And don't be fooled. If you smell mustiness in your environment and think you have a mold problem, but you don't appear to be showing any negative health effects like breathing issues or stuff like that, this does not mean you can simply coexist with the mold and everything is going to be all right. The vast majority of people who got super sick from mold exposure that I have dealt with through the years smelled a musty odor in their environment for several years, but it never really seemed to bother them at the time. But then 10 to 20 years later, even in another home or even in another state, they started to get sick from the exposure, which occurred years earlier. Many become chemically sensitive and many become super sick. Because of this, if I absolutely had to coexist in a moldy environment for an extended period of time because I couldn't break my lease 
or I couldn't move for whatever reason, I'd only really trust the three in one and the Health Pro Plus. Now, I do think there would be some benefits from the Austin Air HealthMate and the Coway 400 units as well, but I personally would only use the first two because getting sick from mold can oftentimes be life changing in a miserable way, and it can oftentimes also become financially devastating. I've dealt with too many sick people from mold exposure to take it lightly. How about MCS, multiple chemical sensitivities? In general, I would look at other air purification solutions for MCS than these four. IQWare tells customers to use their GC units for MCS, and Austin Air recommends their plus units for MCS people as well. That said, I've known some super chemically sensitive people who absolutely loved the Austin Air bedroom unit. So if you're chemically sensitive, don't sleep on that unit, the Austin Air bedroom unit. I'm sorry, but I just had to say it. <laughs> I also know some very chemically sensitive people who were extremely happy with the IQ or Health Pro Plus unit, but it's really hit or miss. Some MCS people can coexist with it and others cannot. COVID and viruses. For COVID and viruses, I'd really only focus on the 3-in-1 and the Health Pro Plus. I do believe the Austin Air HealthMate and the Coway Air Mega 400 would be considerably less effective. And Austin Air actually recommends their bedroom unit for COVID. So let's move on to odor and VOC filtration. All four of these units possess carbon, but they each have different amounts of carbon and different types of carbon, and it is very difficult to know which ones actually filter the best for odors and VOCs, aka volatile organic compounds. Here are the weights of the carbon solutions in each air purifier. The Cutway 400 has 0.76 pounds of carbon for the entire unit. That's 0.38 pounds of carbon per filter. The Aris 3-in-1 has 1.54 pounds of activated carbon and 0.44 pounds of activated alumina. So we'll say two pounds of carbon. The IQWare Health Pro Plus has five pounds of activated carbon and alumina impregnated with potassium permanganate. And the Austin Air HealthMate has 15 pounds of activated carbon. So the Austin Air HealthMate definitely has the most amount of carbon and the Air Mega definitely has the least. Now, I currently think the Health Pro Plus and the 3-in-1 have better quality of carbon mixtures in their solutions than the other two air purifiers. So for VOCs and odors, in my personal experience with the units, I'm currently going to say I like the 3-in-1 and the Health Pro Plus as the top and somewhat of a tie for number one. I'd put the Austin Air HealthMate at number two and the Coway 400S at number three. The 3-in-1 and Health Pro Plus will be able to accommodate a wider variety of VOCs, in my opinion, even though they have a lot less carbon in their solutions than the Austin Air HealthMate. And even in an Austin Air document, it mentions that straight activated carbon does not have much capacity for some reactive gases, such as ammonia, formaldehyde, etc. In some cases, when the gas is chemically reactive, appropriate impregnated activated carbon can be recommended. And in the past, I ran the Austin Air HealthMate in my bedroom, but both my wife, my son, and I agree that the three-in-one has been better at controlling odors in the space. Even though the HealthMate has 15 pounds of carbon and the three-in-one only has two pounds, all three of us agree you can't smell anything in the bedroom at all with the three-in-one. It does an amazing job on odors. And I've used the Health Pro Plus for paint fumes in the past, and it also did a pretty good job. And the Austin Air HealthMate has always seemed to me to be just okay for odors. So these are kind of tricky things to figure out when it comes to carbon and odors and VOCs and which units are the best. But that is how I would currently rate the units. So this was a beginning air purification comparison video, a starting point to compare all future air purifiers to. And I currently have seven other air purifiers in my possession. The Lavoit Core 300, the Coway Mighty, the Winix 5500, the Blue Air 211i, the Camphill City M, the Aero Eve, and the Clarifion. I may also add an Air Doctor, a Shomi, a Dyson, and a Puro Air as well in the future. We'll see. Please tell me which units you want to see reviewed and added to the rankings. Links to the more in-depth review videos of the air purifiers in this video are below in the description. And so are my affiliate links if you wish to support my channel. Please let me know if you have any questions I can help you with, and thank you so much. Bye-bye.